Hello guys, today let's create a shockwave effect in Niagara. So first we need a ring texture. For this texture we can use material and then apply it to the render target. Here is a material for the ring. You can see that it's very simple. We also need a render target. Just create a render target here. And then we need a blueprint. Draw material to render target. We can try it. Call the blueprint. Yeah, we get a ring texture in render target. And we can create a static texture. Now let's create our material. First, translucent, unlit, and two sided. Then we need a ring texture. We still create a distort effect for it. It has been made many times, so let's fast forward here. Okay, we get a dissolved ring. Then let's add a gradient circle inside it. If it's just a ring, the effect doesn't look very rich, so let's add a circle. Here we can use our channel and add a radial gradient exponential. We also give it a dissolved effect. Let's preview it. Yes, that's the effect. OK, add them. The inside circle, we will give it a gradient to make its value smaller. We can use the ring make way. Yes, copy this nodes. Multiply them. This size, we need a dynamic parameter to control its gradient. Default value is 0. Then we need another texture. We also use the noise. Copy this nodes to it again. And also give it a desired effect. Then change the noise speed. 0 0.1, 0 0.25. Multiply the noise by the ring we can get an effect like this. Then we copy this node, also give it a desired effect. The speed we need opposite direction, multiply by the ring, then add the two of them. Okay, the effect is pretty good. Finally, connect it to our particle color. Also, we can add a depth fade. Save our material. Now, let's create an Niagara. Okay, we need a spawn burst. Yeah, we can see the effect. And left time, just 0.4. Loop duration, we can set it to 1. Then we need a scale spread size. A default size, maybe 500. OK. And then here we have a scale of 0 to 1. That means particle size from 0 to 500. We can let it higher at 0 0.6. The value may be 0 0.9 and smooth it. OK. Then we need a scale color. Also, we need a curve for alpha. Alpha means material opacity, just 1 to 0. 
Let's full scale RGB. We need a vector from float. And also give it a curve. We can use the same curve. And scale is 10. Okay, not bad. Now let's add a dynamic material parameter. We also give it a curve. 0 to 0 0.5 Okay, let's see it in the level Yeah, the effect is still good If you think the opacity is a bit strong, we can scale its color Maybe 5 Of course, we can change its color to match the skill color Such as red yellow and blue whatever you like or we can use it for other effect for example here we don't use spawn burst we use spawn rate the value is 5 and left time change it to 1 now we have an effect like this Oh yes, we can also give it a random rotation. Okay, it looks better. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.